What is up everyone? This is Justin Wong and we, we are here with more Teppin and this time we're going to show off some different heroes. We're going to have the Raffalos, we're going to have Jill, X, and Morgan and this is the Raffalos decks I've been using. It's kind of similar but the only thing we added was Kula Yaku which gives me agility, an explore card. Uh, we added obviously Spurgios and State of Nothingness and yeah I mean let's go into it. Alright so we got Raffalos. And we got some of the new cards showing up. We got Lair, we got the Kula Yuyu or whatever. So Lair, you know, obviously she has the shield. It's kind of like a like a uh, Iris, but she's a four star. And also, it gives me pretty much some like you know interesting stats for like flight cards. Does plus four damage. Now we got that. So now we got the agility plus the one and one, which is really really strong, right? So obviously that card, that Chun Li card at eight, he, she stayed with the eight. So now we're gonna have Carlos. You know, we're gonna start buffing up. So now he has agility. And we're gonna give her the plus one and plus one. Hopefully there is no disarm. Okay, that's fine. You can have your, you know, your auto heal card. So now Carlos is at what five? So that's gonna be ten damage plus, um, you know, plus agility. So obviously we're really close to getting that AP over there for that flight, which is really really good. Okay, so you're gonna inflict seal, which is fine. You know, which is completely fine. So we're gonna give you another shield. Any, as like I said, stay of nothingness. The amount of action cards that you do will give him will give you the increase of attack in general. Oh my god, the evasive action. That is annoying. So now he's back to one and nine. Now he's completely worthless. He's completely worthless. Okay, so now you got the piercing hit. That the piercing attack is really really good. So now we're gonna give you stay nothingness. Right, so we're gonna give you that plus three, so that's gonna be four damage, and we're gonna just give you, you know, raffle awakening. So we're gonna give you that flight, which kind of gives me, um, also depending on how many action cards, will buff the attack as well. So that's seven, right there. So that's seven damage with the flight. So hopefully there is not another disarm card. Oh my god, the evasive action! Another evasive action. That is the reset. But um, I mean, I still keep my flight, which is nice. You know, it's not a disarm. So now we're going to have to kind of put some other cards on the field to kind of protect. So we're going to use Iris right here. That's the 1 and 6, you know, protect. So she can take the hit, you know. And then, you know, we're going to obviously keep giving Carlos the buffs for like, uh, just, you know, because he has flight, man. Green decks really have a hard time dealing with flight unless you have like the new green cards that kind of deals with flight in general, which is really, really nice. So now there's Chris. Oh my god, that's 13 attack being taken right there. So we gotta use another layer right there. You know, we're gonna give uh, Carlos shield, you know. And I'm literally like a couple APs away. That's fine. You know, you're gonna get that 13, that 19 health. And I oh, it's gonna do a lot of damage in general. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage in general, right? So we're gonna wait there. That boom, that's three. Oh, this is gonna be close. Yeah, we're gonna put another layer right here. We're gonna just wait it out. Look at that. That's 13. Oh my god, that's 13 and 24. Jeez, give shield to your hero. Okay, that's smart stuff. The defensive formation, but we have we have wrath awakening, and we have the quick attack just in case. You know, so we're gonna give we're gonna give you flight, right? We're gonna give you flight here. So now we have two cards of flight. So now, like, there's no way you can block this because you can only defend once, right? Boom, just like that. Raffles, baby, just rush that shit down. All right, let's move on to the next deck. This is the Jill deck, and Jill's is going to be similar to the Ryu. We're going to have a lot of spread shots, a lot of explore cards, and just a lot of, you know, fate defying Ryu. Dimitri, which gives me rush. You know, just a lot of really new things that Day of Nightmares has given us. All right, so we got Jill versus Wesker. Red team, you know, Resident Evil match. So he has Ouroboros, which is going to be really annoying, but we have the Guiles, we have the Leons, we got the Claire, so. We have three explore cards, right? The fact that we have three monster explore cards, that's going to be really helpful because that's going to give us our Claire, which is going to deal six damage to units in front when you have explore, you know, just in general right there. All right, you're going to remove three cards. You're going to have uh, the revenge plus the, that's going to be good. So we're going to have BB Hood as well. You know, that guarantee four damage plus the rush, which is really amazing. Now we have that, um, the destruction card. The destruction card's going to be really good, right? So now we're going to add Leon to get that, you know, that fighting spirit. So now we have two, which is really, really nice as well. So now we got the de de detonation. Uh, we also have another burn cards, which is really, really cool. Okay, right, so we're going to have another, we're gonna throw another guy right there. And we're going to just kind of wait, wait it out, and then kind of use that, this, this, yep, just like that. That destruction card right here. That's six damage. 
Uh, let's see if Wesker's gonna do something to kind of like save him, or maybe just kind of sacrifice him to kill something. Destroys a unit and puts an infected. Okay. Doesn't arrive if slot is filled. That's cool. Yeah, you're gonna add the infected right there, which is, you know, it's completely fine. So now our super is gonna be pretty interesting because once I use the super and I activate my Genesis, I'm gonna be able to get those two Explore Corps back into my EX pocket, which is really, really nice, I must say. Yeah, so now we're gonna have that plus two, plus two. So we're gonna have four and three, you know. Okay, you destroy, you know, puts another infected on in the field. That's fine. Yeah. I'm actually not sure if that, if that like kind of calculates into revenge in general, but yeah, let's find these items. So now we got the two items again. Uh oh, here we go. But you know, this, yeah, we're gonna have that that card again in general. But now we have Claire. You know, she already has uh, what you call it. All right, you're gonna keep. You're gonna draw your card. Yeah, we're gonna just activate that real quick. Probably use the the little Laguna dinosaur card. Yep. Uh, yeah, might as well. You know, it's a free option at this point. You know, false throne to the graveyard. That's completely fine because you're eight, you already spent it, so I don't have to worry about Devil Ho until just maybe later down on the field. So, yeah, we're gonna use this card right here and just kind of just wipe him out, take him out. And we also got Fate Defying Ryu, which is gonna be really, 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 really good as well. That's six damage. That took that was a good chunk right there. Yeah. Okay, the revenge card came back. So yeah, once he dies, he's gonna be able to just kind of just you know go away. So we're gonna yeah add that. Yep, just take out take out each other in that situation. And then yeah, now we have Claire Redfield. Anytime you summon some big cards, that's pretty much like a guarantee like nine attack right there. If you think about it, like you just wait till the last second. And we got Fate Defying Ryu. Fate Defying Ryu is just rush agility plus the four. That is nice. Yeah, we're gonna do some damage. That's the card that puts another card dam a card field that you um you had you you uh, on the hand as well. That's gonna be a really strong card because I just have to, I'm just forced to take that damage right in general. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take three health. Yep, you summon that little uh, parasite looking dude. You know from the anime. All right, so now we got dark. Now we got the destruction. Take away that six damage. Peace out. You can't put another one on the field. We're gonna bring back these cards. You know, Genesis, baby. Ah, oh, Fighting Spirits. Yep, so we're gonna have, uh, let's see. I have Raffalos, I have Claire. Might as well just kind of take them out at the same time. You know, it's one of those things where you just have these options, right? So that, that's three and nine right there. Mm hmm. You're gonna go down. Here we go. Ouroboros time. Oh, you got the Nergagante. Nergagante, but we're gonna buff we're gonna buff our Nash. Hopefully there is no destroy, because I would not want to use this mutual destruction card. Yep. There is none, so that's five. So he's gonna go down pretty easily. So that's five. So now, now I have ten damage. Pretty much guaranteed on here. And then we're gonna use Claire. Take that out. We also got BB Hood as well. BB Hood is definitely awesome to have in general. Okay, you're gonna take away your life and give you plus two, plus two. And yeah, the boom. What you gonna do? You have something? To stop that? Oh my god, here we go. Here's the gamble, but you know what? We got this card, so we could definitely afford that now. That plus two, plus two, we can afford that now. Yes, and that is gonna be game, hopefully. Hopefully, you don't have that reaction. Yep, there you go. Boom. Jew! Finally gets the revenge, man. Let's move on to the next deck. Morgan, uh, you know, no longer just like about Ibuki and Shenko. We have um, just a lot of different combinations with Morgan now. So we use Shadow Blade, and this is going to be a purple black deck, which is going to be pretty interesting to see, I would say. So hopefully, you guys do enjoy some of the new cards. All right, we got Morgan versus Rathalos. And you know, like I said, this is gonna be a purple black deck, and it, this is deck is kind of like a stall. Like we're gonna definitely just try to lame stuff out real quick, um, not real quick, but you know, real long. And we're gonna have these revenge cards. Obviously, the revenge cards are gonna come back stronger, you know. And like I said, there's gonna be some lame stuff, but just like that, you know, we need to stop you. We need to halt you because that Raffalo's card is very, very strong. You know, it's one of those things that 
we need to somehow get rid of you as soon as possible. So good thing we have Halt, we have Anacris, um, so we also there we have the monstrous virus, right? That's the X factor right there, right? The last th like, you know, 30 seconds. I don't take any damage whatsoever. It's pretty much like a devil trigger Dante's devil trigger hero art, but it's no cost like two card cost. Yeah, so we need to get rid of you So we're gonna use a right here. Oh, that was good See that was good. You could try to mistime me But we're gonna halt you because you're trying to mistime me so I can't summon something so you so I have to take that fight that pretty much that seven damage right there, but nah, we're gonna halt you because that is what we do. And look, I can't even just, I can't summon another card because I don't want, because I need an to, to to get him out the way. So, so now I'm gonna just kind of build that AP so I can get an Acris and I get the Shadow Blade. So Shadow Blade does four damage, but if you are a flight monster, it does six damage, and I will get, steal your health at the same time, which is gonna be really really good as well, right? So here, this is where we're gonna use an Acris. And then now, and damn, we have another Hulk card. That is what we need. Look at that, that nine damage, man. You don't want to take that because Rathalos does like five. If it hits your hero, it does five damage to like somebody on the field, like on the on my side of the field. That's kind of cheap. And that's ten damage. Come on, Rathalos. We ain't trying to fight out here, bro. We're trying to just play slow and lame. But you're just not having it. Yeah, you're definitely not having it. And this is where I'm gonna just shadow blade you out of your misery. We need you out of here. Peace. Give me that health. Okay, I took that six health, and now I'm back to full life. Yep. Gonna take out. Gonna take Neon Tigers and kill. But we got that revenge on deck. You know, we might as well do that zombie. Get that free MP in general. Like Carlos. Yep. Carlos is there. We're gonna do another one. But I am summoning some stuff. We are summoning stuff. Yep. Okay. You're gonna put. You're gonna give your Victor. Hmm. Your plus two. Give it three. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to send you back because you just get another like animal. So we're gonna send Carlos back because it's a four cost in general, right? So you're gonna have three. You probably you do your raffle opening at the last second, which is fine, which is definitely fine because you know I can definitely just you know put the zombie out right here. Yep, we're gonna trade, and then we have another halt. We, you know, I can, you know, take technically I could just take that damage, in general, right? Yeah, we're gonna trade right there. You lose that attack. Yeah, I mean, we're just wait. This is literally just awaiting him at this point. Yeah, I guess I, I'm gonna have to take this, which is fine. Yep, I took that ten health, which is fine. Stop! You violated the law. It's been too long since I've seen a good draw. I'm just warming up. You pathetic worm! That, and we're gonna get that rose card as well. And draw, so now we have 18, right? So we have the perfect 18 number. And you know, I'm Paul, you know, I'm probably gonna be in a situation where it's gonna be that boom, kill you, take you out the way, because I don't need to waste my shadow blade on you. Okay, you're gonna do the victor, plus uh, yep, three and five, but now you don't you're you're close to it again with Raph Wolverine. Damn, you actually are pretty close to it again. That's crazy. Right, so he like he's slowly coming. Yeah, we're gonna take away that zombie. We're gonna just trade. What's this? Are you gonna power him up? Nope. Yeah, we're gonna just take away some health. Give me me back my health. So it's gonna be two, but anytime this card's in EX pocket, it does another one damage. So that's gonna be what five damage gone right there. That actually might kill. Yeah, five damage. Boom. So that's twenty. So he wasted his cards. So now, now we got look look how many cards I got I just on the field, and I have Shadow Blade just chilling, just chilling. This yeah, look I'm just hovering, 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 boom, just like that Shadow Blade. And that's the Morgan deck. Let's move on to our final deck, which is the Mega of Mega Man's. And here's the Mega Man deck, and this one's gonna be pretty fun because they they added a lot of new green cards. To just kind of deal with just flight characters, also with spillover, also with lair cards that, and also auto heal, and it's gonna be really, really annoying. All right, so we got Mega Man here. Mega Man's just chilling at this point. So we got some auto heals. We got the T Hawk spillover cards. We got the disarms. But you know, we we're, we're gonna just chill out and just summon the Heavenly Chun Li. Give her the give her the auto heal right away. The auto heal is just. Just really nice. It's just really strong, right? It gives me, keeps giving me that health back. You see that timer? That's when it, just, it generate regenerates the health, and that's gonna be the scary part. You explore, and then you know we, you know we don't want Chun Li to die. Oh, I don't know. 
the wrong one. The RNG is real right there. Damn. Yeah, that RNG was kind of real right there. That was kind of whack. Yep. Here we go. I wanted the emergency strike so he can only get one, one destruction. Yep. Damn. So that kind of hurts. But hey, we got that the action card, the six, which is really nice, right? So this is gonna be. I'm gonna just wait. I have the Felicia with the six. And then we're gonna build it all the way to the top because I don't think he Chung Lee knows what's about to hit her. So we get that we got yeah, we got that six card, and then we're gonna obviously wait for that action card for another two. So I'm gonna take this hit first from Iris, which is completely fine. And then boom. You what? Right? And then we're gonna pretty much get this card on the way. We're gonna do the charge shot, you know, first. And then look at that. That six card. So it's, if, if you have three cards on the field, it gives me three and six and flight on all three. Bruh, that is godlike, right? And plus we're gonna get that extra da that damage boost as well, right? Mm, look at this, the flight, the damage, oh, so good. Yeah, and we, you know, we definitely need to dis disarm that combo, right? We're gonna disarm that combo, just wait it out. Right, boom, yep. Now you can have your your foreign damage, right? Whatever, that's fine because you know I'm gonna get the auto heal. Okay, you're gonna get the piercing damage with just a five. Which is nice, right? Which is nice, right? But we're going to do this card right here. And that's gonna give us more heals in general. Uh-huh. That's plus three. So now we got the four attack with the five. Alright, that's fine. And we're gonna give the auto heal as well. You know, so mm, let's get the auto heal, right? And we get that four, four shield. Da, 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 da. Ooh, my God, the Nash is coming through. But look, I still have some good damage out there. You know, it's like one of those situations where it's gonna be pretty hard to deal with. Like, I have the shield, I have emergency strike, and plus I have emergency supply. Which will just keep boosting my health in general. And there we go. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that. Let's give that plus four to everybody. Yes. Look at that. Six damage Felicia. Mm, I wonder if you could defend these. Can you defend these? No. You still you still can't kill the Felicia at this point. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh. Oh, Mega Man, baby. We got the buffs. Let's go. And that wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And let me know about in the comments below for more uh, tapping content in general. Peace. All right, you guys made it to the end of the video. So shout out to you for that. But just want to also want to do a little plug in. You know, obviously I have my Jay Wong hat, also my new Jay Wong shirt. So come check it out on the Design by Human store. So if you guys want to support me and, you know, just make more some more content, you know, it'd be really nice for you to just grab some of them. You know, some of the swag I've been posting out, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So really big shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, check out the Design by Human um, shop with uh, just the Jay Wong brand in the link description below and all that good stuff. And yeah, I mean, just check out the description. You might see some cool stuff there, right? Peace.